How do guys, it's Luke at Geek Gaming Scenics and in this video we're going to try and put a myth to bed. I've heard people saying 3D printing is better than Games Workshop quality or it's better than resin models. I want to see that. I want to see if I can 3D print miniatures as good as these production quality models. Let's have a look. So guys, Dan from Atlantis Miniatures has sent me over his resins. He's also sent me the production STL files that he sends to industrial companies who print the models to a stupidly high standard and then put them into silicon molding uh, for traditional pr production as in resin casting. Usually when you sign up to these STL companies you're not getting that level of file. You're getting a file that's doctored uh, so they'll print on home printers and look impressive. So these are slightly different. There are a lot more, there's a lot more little details that are not as exaggerated as there would be on normal STLs. So it's going to be nice to see whether our home printers are able to capture that detail. So, can we put hobby shops out of business with our home printers? <laughs> Let's find out. So once I've got all the settings dialed in and it's a fair test, the printers I'm going to be using are the Unis IB or Unis IB, however you want to pronounce it, uh, and the Creality Harlot Sky. These are two of the best printers that I own at the moment. Uh, they are 4K printers, but they're larger size, so you're going to be printing at around 2K resolution. But the light distribution on these printers does give you very good prints, and all the prints I've seen on these I've been absolutely blown away with. So I thought it'd be best to try on these printers. Now, the models that have come off are gorgeous. Uh, I even printed some in the nude uh, or beige resin just because I prefer it myself. I seem to get the best prints with it uh, and I've been using it the longest. So to make this test as best as I can uh, to try and beat the resins, I've done it all in beige. Now, at first looks, the resin model is absolutely destroying the prints, okay? So you've got so much more sharpness in the in the resin model, there's little details that you can't even see on the resins. Now this could be a number of things. This could be the resin transparency, the light reflecting goes through it rather than bouncing off. The grey has better shadows. However, the grey models that I've printed do look nicer in person, but when you compare it to the actual resin, they're just a little bit soft. So to make this test a little bit fairer, let's prime them and then compare again. Right, now I'm butting in here because I've, I've shocked myself. I've been, I've airbrushed them and I've been taking the photographs so you can see yourselves. And what I've actually done is in the pictures you'll see that I've actually made a mistake with the elf, as in I've put the <laughs> resin one with the um, 3D prints. And the only reason I've realized is the bases were different and uh, I've actually marked under the base which is which. This has completely changed my opinion. When I saw the resins, I were a bit disheartened. I were like, oh, they're not as good as what I thought they were going to be. And I've put some primer on it. There is a difference, but it's subtle. As in, it's very fine is the difference. The Elf's neck scarf, uh, the 3D print, slightly bl up bloated a little bit compared to the resin. Uh, this could be an exposure issue. Uh, there's a fail on the ogre, it's like a little pull line on the shoulder um, that can be fixed with just lowering the lift speed a little bit. Or the other bit that I can tell is on the hair of the ogre. On the resin there's slightly more detail, but that's it. That's all I'm really noticing. But this has completely changed the entire opinion of the video. I thought it would be going to be, yeah there's miles away, yeah we've got years, it's going to be years. But I think we're here. Now, in hand, I can't really tell a difference. And if I didn't have the resins with me, I'd definitely assure that they'd be as good as the resins. 3D printing has come a very long way. It's not there yet. That could be cured with maybe better resolution. That could be cured with better tweaking and better playing. Right, so I'm just editing this video and I'm waffling a bit. What I mean is, most printers will get you 90% of the way there. It's that last 10% that matters. And whether it's that last 10% that matters to you or not, that's the real question. Because that last little bit of quality is what is giving us miniatures that is as good as the shops. We're not there yet, but I'm sure we'll get there pretty soon with the way this technology's going. And these minis that I've printed, 
are pretty, pretty nice. But that's using production quality STLs. It's all about what you're putting in your printer to what you get out of your printer. So, back to the video. So guys, do I think 3D printing is gonna destroy shops? No, I don't, not at all. It's a completely different hobby. Um, it does cross over, but it's not something that everybody can do. As soon as you buy a printer, you cannot print models like that. It takes a little bit of practice. There's a lot of, there's a big, quite a learning curve. Um, and they don't always work how we think they will do. So until the technology gets a lot more user friendly, if they can factory leveled, if they can with resin that's set to that printer so you don't have to do anything and you've got it in the right conditions, I think that's when 3D printing will become a lot more accessible for more people and getting better prints. But till then, it's a bit of a hobby and it's a bit of a garage sort of thing at the moment. The set settings out the printer and using their resins normally give you okay results, but with some tweaking, you can make them a lot better. Um, so don't think printers are plug and play, please, guys, because they're not. They're getting better, but they're still not plug and play. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think to these miniatures. And uh, yeah, if you want to support me, check out my shop. If you want to support Dan, who supplied the miniatures well at Print My Minis, all the links to his My Mini Factory and Tribe will be below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again for the next video. Love, love, love.